So I'm selecting it with my marquee tool or M on the keyboard, making sure I have white in the background again by clicking on the default black and white options down here and deleting it. Okay, last one is a gradation and saturation maintaining fixed hue and value. And um, the complicated part of this particular gradation is finding the right value for the final gray. First we need to choose the color. So I'm going to use um, the color picker here. And I'll go with a nice magenta, I think. Something like this, a reddish magenta. Click OK. And I'm going to use my paint bucket tool to fill that in there. Now I'm going to use um, get the background color by clicking on the background swatch there. And I'm going to choose the same color to start with. So I'm using my eyedropper tool. And I could have just done that actually, I didn't really need to go to the color picker, but anyway. Um, now, in order to get the correct value for this final color, which needs to be gray, I'm going to select it. So I'm going to use my marquee tool to select just this patch right here. And then I'm going to go image, sorry, I guess image adjustments and desaturate. So this is going to take all the color information away from that patch and just leave a gray. You see? Now it's a different gray from the one that's the default for the template. So this is the one we want to use at our last as our last color in the gradation, in the gradient, sorry. So I'm going to select that there. Click OK. So now my foreground and background colors are selected correctly. Now I need to go back to my gradient tool, so I'm doing Shift G. And as you can see, I still have the violet in there, so I need to change that. I'm clicking on it, and I'm just going to click and take that away from the uh, gradient, and it automatically disappears. So I'm just going to click OK. And then once again, I'm using M to get the marquee tool to draw a rectangle. And I'm clicking G to get the gradient tool, drawing a line for the gradient. And once again, I click Shift G to get the um, paint bucket, uh, the paint bucket tool, and of course I need to deselect the rectangle. I'm using the Option key to pick up a color and put it in. And there we have a gradation and saturation maintaining fixed hue and value. Okay, finally we need to just remove this rectangle down here. So once again I'm selecting it, making sure my background is white and deleting it. Then I need to save it as a JPEG to put it in the classroom. So go File, Save for Web and Devices. You'll get this dialog box and uh, make sure that JPEG is selected up here and that the quality is set at maximum. Um, you might want to change the file size, to, um, but I think it should be fine. The template is 710, which is fine. And then you just click Save. And make sure you're using the correct file name here. So this is where you want to type in your last name, first name, the week number, and the assignment number. And then click Save. And that's the version that you'll upload to the classroom. Okay, I hope that was helpful, and I'm looking forward to seeing you all.